Good evening everyone. I am back in Norfolk tonight. I'm on the North Norfolk coast and this is Holcomb Beach which I think is voted the third loveliest beach in the world. They also filmed the ending of Shakespeare in Love here if you've watched any of that crap. Uh, I've been here whew, two or three times before in the past, long time ago when I did the, the North Norfolk coast path on my own. And I think we might be in the nudist section of the beach, which is typical of Tom Outdoors. Can't beat a nudist beach. Um, I've got a very distinguished guest with me tonight. Hardy's back, everyone. Hey. And uh, he very kindly invited me up here at the last minute. I was going to do the Store Valley path, which is Newmarket to Cataway on my own. And I was like, nah, few few teething issues with the plan and found out Hardy was sort of doing a camp tonight. Uh, he had planned on doing Burnham over his stay, was it? And we've, we've sort of uh, parked sort of down that way. And then we had a look at Gun Hill earlier, which you've just seen in the video. And we sort of walked up here, had a little look in the outskirts of Holcomb Woods, and then come up onto the beach and we decided we're camping here for the night. So, um, yeah, cheers for inviting us by the way mate. You're alright, you're welcome mate. And uh, it should be a good evening this one. Uh, it's cloudy-ish, quite muggy out, it's quite warm. Uh, no chance of rain, I think we've been told. Yeah, maybe early hours. Fingers crossed it don't rain. So, um, I've gone light with the ciders by the way, I've only got one cider, I'll show you that a bit later on. Um, yeah, we're going to get our stuff set up and we'll come back to you. I've got the Rab Silwing tarp and the Rab Ridge Raider Hoop Bivy all set up. The tarp took a little bit of work, but we got there in the end. Uh, I've gone fairly lightweight on this trip. Got an MRE for later on. I think that's the last one I've got uh, to review, and then I've reviewed them all, apart from the MRE pepperoni pizza that Hardy has kindly bought me one of them. Um, so this one is chili and macaroni menu 10 I'm gonna have it a bit later it's only about half seven at the moment so I'm not too hungry yet cider I've got is a Copperberg raspberry 4% uh, it's the only cider I've got tonight and thankfully it's, it's tasty uh, not really a hell of a lot to say uh, Swedish original cider brand made in our family owned brewery in Copperberg town in the heart of the country. The juice of raspberries are added to our apple cider to deliver an intense fruity tasting cider with an unmistakable raspberry aroma. We hope you enjoy this very special cider as much as we did making it for you. Skull, which means cheers. It's pretty cool. And yeah, it's not bad. It's, uh, you can really, really taste the raspberry coming through on it. Cheers everyone to a good camp and this is where Hardy is on the dunes so he's got the Wild Country Helm 1 tent this is cooking stuff he's got an MRE as well and uh, look at this beautiful tent and uh, some of you may know this already but the most of you probably don't I've actually just bought one of these and it's still in the post thanks to Hardy and I think the guy's called Paul's Pursuits and um, they've uh, kind of swayed my judgment and uh, kind of persuaded me to purchase one it's a bomb proof little tent it looks absolutely brilliant um, I'm gonna do a review of mine when it turns up and probably do a wild camp and a review with it I've also bought the footprint because I want to look after it because this tent cost me a little bit more than what I normally pay for tents but yeah it's cool so yeah he's got that tonight that's so cool can't wait to get mine and yeah so here we are there's a few people out running along the beach and a dog there we go it's like being at Romford Dogs <laughs> anyway yeah, ah, here he is. Hardy's here, don't worry, he's not done anything suspicious there. Patrol, patrol. 
we was just uh, checking out the Helm 1. Beautiful tent, anyway. See, I'll be getting one. Well, as I say, I've got one coming in the post. Cannot wait. Anyways, right. I'm going to carry on drinking and then do a bit of grub soon. So, as mentioned earlier, this uh, USMRE menu 10 chili and macaroni is going to be dinner for tonight. It's the last menu in the USMRE range that I've got to try. Apart from, as Hardy keeps reminding me, the pepperoni pizza, which is quite a rare one. So, but other than that, this is kind of the last one. So, it's going to be a special one. This. So. Let's get into it. I've added a couple of extra things as always, like I've got this uh, Snore and Peace tea by Clipper for tonight, just to help me drift off to sleep, along with the waves. And I think I've also added in it somewhere, yeah, a Maltese, a hot chocolate, that's one of the best ones going. So, inside accessory pack, I'll show you that in a second. We have, right off the bat, a vanilla pound cake nice we've got some toffee rolls don't know what they are or what they're going to be like i'm interested to see how they shape up the beef snack which is basically kind of like a, a bit of beef jerky they're okay had them a few times before we've got some cheese spread with jalapenos that's brilliant and the best crackers as well vegetable crackers to go with that they're amazing that's uh, so our cardboard sleeve for the the main meal, which is this, the, the Chilean macaroni. So we'll get that in its FRH. If that doesn't work, I've got me a Trangia little alcohol stove and a bottle of meths. That should be enough. And if that fails, I've got me a uh, me Outkick Kraku gas stove, which is here to hand. There we go. Little cute bag. Small tin of gas should be sorted you get a hot beverage bag which I don't always use and then we've got a carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder fruit punch flavor the MRE spoon as always quite good little spoons and that accessory packet we've got some coffee instant type 2 that's not bad coffee that but I'm going to mix it with that hot chocolate. We have some non-dairy creamer. Uh, it's a bit different. Don't know if I'm going to use this. We've got some crushed red pepper. The toilet roll as always. Moist towel, it wet wipe as always. Then some sugar. For that coffee some iodized salt which you more or less always get little paper book of matches that you usually always get as well and last but not least we've got the chewing gum so the clear packet i think is either spearmint or something like that it's not cinnamon flavor which is good and yes yeah, so that's what we're going to be eating you know what i'm going to say enough yakking let's get snacking Right, while the uh, the alcohol stove is, is boiling up the water for the, the hot chocolate and the coffee, the FRH is doing the main meal, which you'll probably need going in the water um, on the stove just to heat it through because it's not that hot. Anyway, um, we're going to crack open the toffee rolls, or I think Americans call them Tootsie Rolls. See if we get a hiss. Don't think we got a hiss. And uh, oh, they are Tootsie Rolls. <gasps> there we go. Wow. See, any of my American viewers are probably like well familiar with these, but I'm not. So this is uh, this is different. There we go. They're very chewy. They're nice though. Slight artificial taste to them, but they're not bad. They they remind me of um, uh, the the tin of quality streets. You get the long 
chocolate like toffee fingers and they always get left last <laughs> after Christmas and uh they remind me of that a bit hmm yeah not bad so far next thing we'll have is the the beef snack <laughs> which is basically like a, a bit of beef jerky or a really a really naff pepper army I don't think we got a hiss comes double packed there we go Bull's original beef stick <laughs> always gets a little chuckle oh, this is going to be really chewy oh. there we go I suppose it's a good bit of protein you know salt and fats in it as well but I wouldn't wouldn't actively willingly choose to eat this but it's not bad next up let's try out the vanilla pound cake no hiss there we go you can just see that in there oh it smells really nice this would go well with the coffee uh, I'm still boiling the water up because I've put the the main meal in that just to heat it through some more and then then I'll have the coffee of course. Look at that. That is incredible. That's one of the best like puddings I've ever had in a ration pack. That's up there with the cinnamon bun. Or the I think there was a lemon poppy seed pound cake as well. I had a canvas sands for candies. It was that good I remember where I had it. <laughs> Oh, this is, oh, it's just, they put this stuff in ration packs, honestly. Ration packs are better than, than you think. That's, that's incredible. Look at that. Oh, flies are having it. If I had to give that a rating out of 10, that would get a 9 easily, because nothing gets a 10. Don't worry, it's not a blood bag. This is the carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder fruit punch flavor so it's a very natural looking red color just mixing it up in the beverage bag just so you can see what the colors like and then i'll put it in my empty nalgene bottle which has got a simon a bloke in the wood sticker on do like a bit of simon i'm sure you'll follow him already so that's sort of a shout out <clears throat> it's not bad, it hasn't got an overly strong taste despite the fact I only put about 300 ml of water in it that'll suffice yeah, not bad right I think it's time to get our uh, our main meal out, the chilli and macaroni don't know whether to put the crushed red pepper in it I think this is one of those meals again I've never eaten you know, and everyone's screaming at the at the screen going, you've never had chilli and macaroni? Just like I've never had tuna before. <laughs> I'll probably never have tuna again, I don't know. Just looking at it, I know that's probably going to give me the shits. <laughs> uh, I don't want to tip it up, of course, but there we go. You can just about see that there. Just peeping through the top. Give it a little stir. There we go. Give it a try. Three, two, one. Joe, you know, that's not bad. It's not got a lot of flavour to it, uh, which means I don't know whether I should put the pepper in it. <laughs> we could try. We'll give it a try, shall we? Probably gonna absolutely balls it up now, but well, that looks deadly. <laughs> right, let's put a little bit in first. There, I'll put a, a smidgen in. Right, stir it up a bit. I feel so cultured adding spices and stuff to my food, as I'm pretty boring normally. You must think I don't get out much.
Oh, that's livened it up a bit. Oh, oh, oh that's really warm now. <laughs> Hardy's looking at me just like, I'm never inviting you up here again. <laughs> let's put a little bit more. <laughs> let's put a little bit more in it. Oh, it's only a little bit left. Sod it. My bowels are going, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> My arsehole son, it's your funeral son. That's gonna be proper hot. It's definitely giving it more flavour though. It goes well with it. Do you know this ain't bad this? I I could eat this. Definitely. Chili and macaroni. Not like chili con carne. Like when I had that in a ration pack, that was okay, but it, I prefer this. This is okay, yeah. Okay, and last but by no means least, we're going to have the vegetable crackers with the cheese spread with jalapenos. One of them's a little bit broken, but it's not too bad. These ones taste so much better. Even without anything on, they taste good. Oh, okay, now they're falling apart. That's that's breaking in bits. These haven't survived well at all, actually. <laughs> really badly. And I think this one has been squashed into a rucksack a couple of times, so I was going to take it and then never did. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's breaking. Try and spread it as best I can, but there we go. That's some good cheese and crackers. Anyways, well you've seen them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wolf the rest of them down. So uh, that was a little look at USMRE menu 10 chili and macaroni. It's the final one. I've reviewed. Hey! So now what I'm going to do is I've kind of made like a list of my favourite menus and I'll just order them off of eBay as usual um, and take them on wild camps. So you won't see <coughs> all the menus, you might see a few repeated. You know, they'll be my favourite ones. Um, so I won't be reviewing them anymore. I'll just go, I've got that menu, and that's it really, so no more reviews of these, but I'll, I'll look for other types of ration packs to review at some point, so it's not the end of that, but just thought I'd make you aware. Right, well it's about a quarter to eleven now and me and Aldi have been chilling out after dinner just chatting, putting the world to right. It's been good fun mate. Try not to blind Hardy with the head torch <laughs> at the moment so that's why I'm not putting the camera on him. On him. Um, we're, we're feeling a couple of spots of rain in the air so and it's, it's way past Hardy's bedtime. <laughs> he, he tells me, he reliably informs me so I think we're sort of going to batten down the hatches, get in our respective shelters. I'm going to do my snore and peace tea. Um, I've only got a litre of water left, so I'm going to try and have a, a strong snore and peace tea and save the rest for uh, for the morning for breakfast. Got another ration pack for for breakfast, so I'll show you that in the morning. Um, it's been great here though, really peaceful. It's been like no wind, it's not that chilly, um, but yeah, just some light drops of rain in the air, so. Okay, well, it's coming up to about midnight now. I'm in the Radbridge Raider Hoop Bivy. I love being in this, in this shelter. It is, I think it's hands down my favourite shelter still. It's still exciting getting in it each time. Hardy was saying that earlier on tonight about his... Helm 110, he still looks forward to getting in it and gets excited about 
setting it up and stuff and I'm the same with this hooch bivvy it's, it's brilliant so I'm going to get an early night and I think sunrise is about half four something like that so it's going to be an early one but we both said we'll get up film bits of it and then probably go back to sleep and have a lay in because we're not going to be disturbed here it's really quiet and out of the way and stuff and we're not in a rush to get back so yeah that'll be alright I can have breakfast and you know we can sort of leisurely get packed up and and head back to the car at Burnham Overy Staith it's been a really good camp really like it here this is the sort of coastline I would love to have on my doorstep um, so I'll definitely be coming back here doing more walks and wild camps for sure I'll uh, I'll chat to you in the morning so it's good night from me everyone it's about 6 30 in the morning I'm having to be quite quiet because I think Hardy might still be asleep so I don't want to wake him up so for breakfast I'm gonna be having this Norwegian Arctic field ration this one is sports muesli and the total calories of this of this meal on sides equates to 1300 calories apparently so, it comes in this sort of sealed bag which I've opened already to have a little look. And you can reseal the packaging with that little sticky label there, which I think is pretty cool. So, having a look inside, we've got a protein bar, chocolate crisp, 39% protein. They're okay they are, I've had them before. We've got a bar of 60% cocoa dark chocolate. That stuff's quite good. Have our spoon, which is quite flimsy. And I remember when Andy from Kent Survival reviewed one of these, always entertaining, some nut cream. <laughs> It's basically a chocolate hazelnut spread. Then we've got some Polder Mill Colombian freeze dried instant coffee. We have a little wet wipe. Two pieces of peppermint chewing gum. And then the main meal itself dehydrated is this sports muesli there's like a little picture of it, it might sort of show us roughly what sort of stuff's in it it's a light meal it says uh, oatmeal raisins bran flakes wheat flakes whole rye wheat bran apple chunks apple and sugar <laughs> Sounds interesting, should be good. Oh. Then we have by Bridgeford some 
whole wheat bread shelf stable that's to go with the the nut cream then we have an energy drink powder which is peach flavour there we go I'll probably have that for the the walk back we've got quite a fair old walk back to the car and then you get a little plastic bag to put your rubbish in or you could collect water in it if you needed to so yeah that's what we're going to be having so enough yakking let's get snacking <laughs> so first of all that's our peach flavoured drink with a fizz to it so it could be like a isotonic energy drink that's really nice really flavorful but not overly sickly that's just right that so I'm gonna have that for the the walk back that's now the only water I've got I've made up the coffee of course I'm not a massive fan of coffee and I didn't have any hot chocolates but what I did have was a tea with whitener and sugar so I've taken the whitener and the sugar and I've added I've added that to it but the, uh, the whitener hasn't really mixed in it's gone sort of a bit lumpy and sort of sat on the top of it which isn't great but yes that's our coffee I'm going to let that cool down for a bit before I drink that And then I've made up the sports muesli as well. I've made that hot, I haven't done it with like cold water. I find muesli tastes better hot. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this but oh there we go, that's kind of what we're looking at. That's ready to eat actually. Let's have a little try. That's really good. Apples, raisins. It tastes like it's got a faint hint of cinnamon to it. That's actually really good. The muesli's in these Norwegian rations are they're usually on point. I remember I had the chocolate muesli once and that was amazing. Mm. That's the sort of meal that gets better with every bite. incredible so next we'll have a look at the dark chocolate chocolate bar there we go because it's uh, only 60% tastes more like milk chocolate but I'm not complaining that's really good it tastes like good quality chocolate, so it doesn't taste that artificial or you know cheap. It, it tastes really good. Mm. Yeah, the next thing we're going to try out is the chocolate crisp 39% protein bar. And that's kind of what we're looking at. Almost looks like a rice crispy bar. These are quite tough and quite dry, so I think it'd work really well if you dunk it in the in the in the coffee. We'll try it on its own. It tastes a lot better than it did last time. Um, let's try it in the coffee anyway. Okay. 
that is good like that, definitely. It just takes on a whole different texture when you, you dunk it. I suppose it's like, just, you know, tea and biscuits or something. Really good. It's just gone 8 a.m. Hardy is now awake. He's been awake an hour, I should say, to his credit. Um, although he did get up early and catch the the sunrise, what there was of it. Um, it's really warm and sunny now. Um, so I've finished the ration pack, all but the uh, like the bread and the nut cream. <laughs> I'm going to save that because. I'm really full up after having that muesli so I'll save that for my next camp and I'll show you it then. So I'm going to start packing stuff away, I'll leave the tarp set up last. So I'll get the bivvy out from under it, get any sand out of there, get that packed away. And we're, we're not in a rush really so I can leave the tarp set up and then just sort of lay under it on my mat and <laughs> chill out really for a little bit but this is our view incredible we both said what a fantastic spot we found and we very nearly didn't camp here as well we were going to camp as i say further down the coast at gun hill which still looks like a really good spot as well but to be fair you're tripping over brilliant spots on the north norfolk coast this is fantastic this is sort of like the area that actually first really got me into the outdoors and camping and just yeah that that kind of lifestyle of wanting to sleep outside <laughs> a lot really so it's beautiful yeah i think the tide might be coming back in again sort of over there a bit okay it's about 9 a.m now and as you can see we've all packed up leaving absolutely no trace a bit of flattened grass and sand but that's about it got all the rubbish on the back the rucksack is much lighter as you can see the tide has come in but that's fine because the footpaths are are up on the dunes here and where Hardy is and he's packed up and left no trace as well so we've got I don't know, a good couple of miles walk back to the car, probably a little bit further than that so enough talking let's get walking made it back to Hardy's car here in the lovely little village of Burnham Overy Stafe and we're just outside the Hero Pub named after of course Lord Nelson and that's the end of this video hope you've enjoyed it fear not though I'm going to be spending a couple more days here in Norfolk as I've got some time off work and I'll be doing another wild camp with Hardy in a day or two's time so really looking forward to that uh, we're going somewhere different so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it get in the comments let us know what you think 
and until next time stay safe look after each other get out there and explore cheers guys see cheers. you soon bye